Was, was something on your list, because I heard you say at the beginning, instead of two meetings a year, four or something like that. Did you have that one? Uh, actually, the, the issue of four meetings, I remember when there were one-day meetings, I, I was a little bit concerned about that. Um, you know, just because it's a lot of work to get here for one day and then to leave. I like the idea of having two days. I actually even like the idea better of kind of a three-day meeting where you have one day that's kind of sort of these are the questions we have. We really think about science. We think about some of the issues. And then that kind of informs kind of um, some of the issues that we can then talk about the next two days. So, and, and I know that there's been some conversations about a three-day meeting in the fall. But I, I don't know if there's been any more thought about what that might look like. So, so if I can ask a point of information again. Is, is, if the charter locks us into two two-day meetings, is there a way to use the words at least two of at least two days or something like that to give you some latitude to make a three-day meeting if you wanted? Or if there was some reason, like, like if the NIH workshop happened right in the middle of between two sessions and you wanted to get most of us there, um, but there could be a third meeting to allow us to to um, hear the research updates and then and then have another day of meeting, something like that. I, I think you sort of lock in with two. I understand there's budgetary issues in the back mm -hmm. bottom line. You, it's so, awful hard to plan things without being sure of exactly how many meetings you're going to have. So and, we and we're going to have a tough time right now making any budget changes. And if we increase to more than two times a year, I mean, each meeting costs us around $65,000 with video casting, travel, and, and that's a loaded cost. That's our personnel, you know, because we have to account for 100 percent of these costs in the uh, advisory committee register or whatever it is that GSA runs. So for 2011, we are highly unlikely to get a nickel more than what we've got right now to have two two-day meetings, basically, but, but the charter says twice a year. It could be one three-day, one one-day, which is, again, sort of that eye we were looking toward for fall <clears throat> by having the one-day now and the three-day later. But, um, you know, saying two two-day meetings, getting really com complicated and convoluted, um, again, you can have some unintended consequences to... Just as an aside, um, I know in addition to HHS's contribution, um, CDC and NIH are the ones that provide the funds in addition to theirs. Um, I don't th know that the other uh, ex officios do that yet. <laughs> but we would like to, you know, that's something that was going to be an offline conversation, I hope. But our funding is really to the point where Wanda's right. It can't happen next year. Jason. Uh, I guess the question is, the other 150 committees, are they doing twice a year two-day meetings? It no, it varies with the committee. It varies with the committee's needs. Um, many of them use teleconferencing um, for their meetings, their uh, webinars or whatever. Uh, they use some of the new technology to reduce the travel costs, and they've met uh, one advisory committee that I've been in and out of uh, over the past two years has met for a while there, they were meeting almost every two weeks when they first got rolling. And then it became sort of once a month. Now it might be quarterly. But most of that was webinar. It was using that new technology. And how are they functioning vis-a-vis -vis our group? Is it more valuable maybe in doing it more frequently via webinar? <coughs> they were tasked. That particular committee had a specific charge and task and was expected to sunset after its charter. It's been extended because the task was added on to with the Obama administration, but we're fully expecting that that charter will, in fact, lapse after this task. So that one came together for a specific purpose, short-term, um, meant to be a public process. Uh, other committees, um, you know, twice a year tends to be the norm. Some will meet for a full week. Some do site visits. Uh, some have extensive uh, presentations for three days and then closed session for deliberation. So, you know, they, they all vary uh, with the purpose of the committee and who holds the charter and so forth.